The new $100 million attraction is scheduled to open this Saturday at the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex on Merritt Island. It is the new hangar for the space shuttle Atlantis and complete history of the Hubble Space Telescope. The Atlantis, the last space shuttle to fly, is displayed as if she were in space with her bay doors open where you can almost touch her. One of the unique things about this Atlantis exhibit is you feel like you can just about reach up and touch it, but don't touch it too much because they don't want you to smear off the dust. It came from space. They never cleaned it up. It took 18 months to build the hangar and eight months to mount and display the space plane. She, she's been pretty easy to work with. Uh, there's some real technical challenges. We, no one's ever raised her up 30 feet on her three connector points. No one's ever tilted her 43.2 degrees to the 21 degrees to the port side. No one's ever opened her payload bay doors the way we did here. So there were some technical challenges and real engineering challenges, which is kind of cool because that's really what we're all about. You know, we, you know the, 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 secondary, the secondary or third goal here is to teach people about engineering and technology and mathematics and science. And just the load in on this alone was a ton of that right from the start. Along with that education goal is the Hubble Space Telescope, a model made to show the telescope full size down to the detail of an inch. There is so much to see and do at the Kennedy Space Center complex, you would be pressed to do it all in a day, especially if you take a tour of the Space Center. At Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex, I'm John Hill.